Miss Kitty. Not funny, Miss Kitty. Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Back here, man. So, uh, dude, this weather is uh, just crazy. It was this morning. Now it's probably 10 now. But this morning, the sun was out. No wind. Man, it was like nice. I don't know what the temp was, but it was calm and nice, man. Now, clouds are rolling in. The breeze is kicked up. It's kind of nipply out here. So, today... Hey, I am. Uh, you can hear Miss Kitty in there. Miss Kitty is. Uh, we're actually. I'm actually gonna put a window. But I'm actually putting a window. Not right yet. Not right now. But I'm gonna put a window in here. I gotta score the window yet. But, uh, I ain't gonna put it in the middle of winter. Well, you never know, man. I could. But, plan is, that's just how Miss Kitty does things, you know. First, he wanted this. Uh, are you listening to me in there? I'm trying to ignore you. <laughs> She's trying to ignore me. First, he wanted this. Green, uh, whatever it is. Now, now she decided she wants a window. And not only does she want a window, she wants a window that she can open. So, tell you what Miss Kitty wants, Miss Kitty gets. Ain't ignoring that, are you? Right now, what I'm doing is the bottom of uh, the bottom of that and pan two panels. You know, I've got I got this foam stuff in there, but it's just not a uh, it's letting air air get in there. But you know, so I would. Uh, would fix it and do it, do it right, you know, reseal it, but beans that we're going to tear that out and there's going to be a window, I'm just going to put this sand, sand and dirt here on both of them to cover up the gap. So that's the plan, stand. Let me get some walls up here, but the next chore that I'm planning on down is I'm going to make I'm going to make some fire starter, you know, which I've uh, showed you that a few times, man, with the with the sawdust, I'm gonna make some uh, make some of that. Man, that's the best fire starter there is. Usually, I use the tarp. So I'm throwing that crap everywhere. Do it against the grain, man. You end up with a little bit longer. Not as long as it was last time. Which it could be because I switched the chains too. But I'm telling you, man. This is the best fire starter ever. And then you get some weeds in there. Who cares? Who cares, man? Throw a little piece of wood in there. What the heck? Well, fire starter. 
Then as we go, oops, we can you see the little pitch in there? These little pieces, uh, they don't really quite loose, but that pitch, you know, as I cut, this one's kind of, kind of weird. It's just not that thick. And the thicker stuff's better. Oh. So, uh, but then once I cut it way down, then I'll cut it, cut it crosswise, you know, and use the, also use the solid pieces or the actual wood, too. So, again, I guess you don't need to watch this. Alright. I ended up getting a bigger stump when I was, uh, It actually started, uh, and it might just be because of the hardness from the pitch. It started sparking, which is, that ain't no good for your chain. That'll eat your chain up. And then this one, I don't know if you can see. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this one. See now, man. Ah, oh, just nice, fine pitch. So I'll put some of that in the, in the bucket, too. This one's for the this one for the cook shack. Yeah, definitely smarter to do this with the tarp. With the tarp afterwards. Well, kind of. Well, there's quite a bit on the ground here. And with the tarp, man, you can pick it up and dude, it smells so good. Anyway, with the tarp, man, you can pick it up afterwards, you know. Ooh, I'd pile it up in the tarp. Oh! See that? <laughs> you just can't see it. That's a big old, big old chunk of it. Alright. So, now, on to the next tank. Chore, I need to, need to clean the Get rabbit the pins. pins out. The rabbit pins out, and uh, I didn't do the chicken coop. Probably go over and do the chicken coop, but I need to scrape all that rabbit crap. That's, dude, I need to get on this and get these things. But I do want to crawl under... Which I'm gonna grab a tarp or board or something and get underneath that truck today and take pictures so I can determine exactly what parts I need to order and what parts uh, I need to fix. And I need to look at the one part of the, uh, I think it's called the yoke, you know, that comes out of the transmission that spins the drive line make sure that it didn't get damaged in that and all that hoorah you know what i got a I got my phone here brought my phone out i don't have no service out here but uh i did a photo or a screenshot i love screenshots man all right so this this comment came in oh i think it was i think it was yesterday and it's not a bad comment, to, bad enough to where I'm uh, blocking the lead or irritated me or nothing. I just kind of chuckled, and I was doing something, and it wasn't a, you know, block and delete message, but I was going to uh, probably, say, probably say something snide back just because I do that. But uh, some of you guys took care of it for me. So anyway, man, I'm going to read this real quick. So this is from uh, Westman Can, <laughs> and he says, uh, "Why would anyone who lives so isolated do a YouTube channel? Kind of goes against what he stands for. More money, I guess. Money is so evil." So then, uh, here lies Kitty Thomas, 
put, uh, you must be fun at parties. <laughs> and Curtis, Mr. Shippy, Curtis Shippy put, uh, my question is why Hillbilly would not do a YouTube channel. It is the perfect combination along with his trading post money. Itself, money itself isn't evil, but the love of money is, 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 is and the love of money is, and anyone caught in, oh dude, I can't read the, that's Rusty's. And then I'll go back to, Russell Tackett, why not? Why are you watching? Go somewhere else. <laughs> So I didn't even have to say or do anything, man. You guys did it. Let's see. Okay, I got the rest of Shippy, so I'm going to read it all. So his, his uh, comment was, My question is why Hillbilly would not do a YouTube channel. It is the perfect combination along with his mountain trading post. Money itself isn't evil, but the love of money is. And anyone caught in that will lie, cheat, and steal to get more. Hillbilly... Continue doing what you do as we all appreciate the time you take out of your busy life to bring us along. Have a good day. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love when I uh, get snide remarks and don't even have to uh, don't even have to <laughs> comment and stuff and you guys take care of it for me. That's the whole, you know, I just did that. Oh, I don't know. That video a day or two ago that without one comment oh, about cleaning up this place. It's like, dude, shut the hell up. Or just get the heck off my channel. We don't need that negativity. <laughs>